What's up guys, it's Brad from Let Architect here. In this short video, I'm going to demo the new Nishida Sky model in Blender 2.9. Nishida is a new procedural sky system that can be added through your environment panel just like the old default sky, Hosek Wilkie. Now right off the bat you can see that Nishida has quite a bit more settings to choose from compared to Hosek Wilkie in the past and that's because the Nishida model is taking into account the atmospheric scattering of the Earth's atmosphere based on different variables that you can change in the world settings here. The variables include sun size, sun intensity, sun elevation, sun rotation, altitude, density of the air molecules, density of the dust, ozone density, and the overall sky brightness strength. I did some research and found a paper on the concept and have some links to the model study below for those of you interested in the more technical aspect of things. Now as environment artists it's important to create a realistic environment for your scene and one of the things that I'm always trying to do when creating realistic city environments for example is always matching the lighting on my city and 3D buildings to the background plates that I add or plan on adding to the scene later. Now I can get some pretty good results with Hozek Wilkie in the past but the realism and control in Nishida is on another level so I definitely see myself using it for matching up the environment for my scenes better. For example, in this case, if I want to put my city up high in the mountains in this background photo, then I immediately know that I can dial in the altitude settings in my Nishida world settings until I match the environment that I want to add my CG elements to. Then of course, I can adjust the other parameters to the scene to dial it in even more. Furthermore, Nishida also has the sun lamp or disc built into the sky model itself, unlike in the Hozek Wilkie model where you would have to add your own sun lamp after using the sky model to create some ambience to your scene. In a shooter, you can change the sun size, sun intensity, and sun location in the model to get a multitude of different looks fairly quickly. You can even adjust the strength and size of your sun separately from the rest of the sky atmosphere model. In conclusion, Nishida is a crazy fun sky system to play around with and should provide some stunning environmental lighting for your scenes. That said, I can't say I won't be using Hozek Wilkie in the future in certain situations as it still has its place and is useful in providing that general ambience and that sky look that can give a good starting point without doing too much for you. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let me know if you like these more short form tutorials and breakdowns or if I should go back to the longer ones in the future. I'll see you guys next time.